Hi everyone, it's Athena here from Courage Coaching. I hope you're doing well. Now, today's video is going to focus on how narcissistic parenting affects children. And I'm going to talk about an article that I read by Carol Muckbride on Psychology Today. Um, it's a very, very good article on the effects of narcissistic abuse on children within a family and she gives a very analytical overview of the way that children suffer having had narcissistic parents. So I wanted to go through all the bullet points that she mentioned in this article. Carol McBride has written a brilliant book, which I think I mentioned in one of my older videos called Will I Ever Be Good Enough? Healing the Daughters of Narcissistic Mothers, which of course can also apply to healing the sons of narcissistic mothers because obviously narcissistic mothers can be abusive towards both daughters and sons. With that aside, let's talk about the effects that narcissistic parenting has on children. The child will not feel heard or seen. The child's feelings and realities will not be acknowledged. The child will be treated like an accessory to the parent rather than a person. The child will be more valued for what they do, usually for the parent, rather than for who they are as a person. The child will be taught that how they look is more important than how they feel. The child will be fearful of being real and will instead be taught that image is more important than being authentic. The child will be taught to keep secrets to protect the parent and the family. The child will not be encouraged to develop their own sense of self. The child will feel emotionally empty and not nurtured. The child will learn not to trust others. The child will feel used and manipulated, firstly, obviously, by the parents and will then be used and manipulated later in life. The child will be there for the parent rather than the other way around, as it should be. The child's emotional development will be stunted in one way or another. The child will feel criticized and judged rather than accepted and loved. The child will grow frustrated trying to seek love, approval and attention by the parent which they will not get. The child will grow up feeling not good enough. The child will not have a role model for healthy emotional connections. The child will not learn appropriate boundaries for relationships. The child will not learn healthy self-care, but instead will be at risk of becoming codependent, which means that they will end up taking care of others to the exclusion of taking care of their self. The child will have difficulty with the necessary individuation from the parent as he or she grows older. The child will be taught to seek external validation versus internal validation. The child will get a mixed and crazy making message of do well to make me proud as an extension of the parent, but don't do too well and outshine me. So parents want their kids to do well, but if the kids do better than the parent, then the parent will get envious, will get jealous and will um, find ways to put down that child's efforts and that child's accomplishments. The child will ultimately suffer from some level of complex post-traumatic stress disorder, depression and or anxiety in adulthood. The child will grow up believing he or she is unworthy and unlovable because if their parent can't love them, then who will? The child is often shamed and humiliated by a narcissistic parent and will grow up with poor self-esteem. The child is often guilt-tripped and gaslighted by the narcissistic parent. The child will often become either a high achiever or a self-saboteur, or both. The child will need trauma recovery and will have to learn to reparent themselves in adulthood. Children unfortunately feel suffocated and struggle with loneliness and pain behind closed doors with parents that are narcissistic. 
So it is very important that they have the right support from a mental health professional who understands this sort of abuse. And if they don't get that help in their childhood, then at least they can hopefully seek out help later in adulthood and they can start their recovery journey with the right support. And don't forget, narcissism is a spectrum disorder. So it ranges from obviously um, low level traits that we all have to some degree to a full blown personality disorder, which is a lot more destructive and which the person is not able to change. The person is not able to get better. The person is not able to be accountable for their bad behavior, for their abusive behavior. And it's in this case that it has the most damaging effects on the children. So that is the end of the video today. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Um, I hope that it's helped. Please feel free to leave comments. Please share the video if you think it may help somebody that you know. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button on my channel. I haven't had a huge amount of time to release videos as often as I would like at the moment, but I will do my best to um, continue releasing videos. And if you have anything in particular that you would like me to talk about, then please send me an email and let me know. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Uh, take care and I will see you in my next video.